part so y'all i got a total of 11 packages today as you guys can see the router thing is pretty much right there and that lets you know how many you have that's how you can tell how many packages you have and that's my packages right there hazard lights on what's up youtube it's desi and i'm back with another video y'all this video is going to be flex with desi you guys and as you guys can see i'm wearing my vest for amazon flex i'm currently here at the delivery station right now you guys and this video i kind of wanted to talk about as far as for is amazon flex worth it um now i've been doing amazon flex for at least like a month and more now and honestly i feel like i have two ways with it at first first starting off i thought it was worth it now i'm starting to have my little concerns with it um the reason on why is because Amazon, I feel like they don't really understand like the actual delivering process. Like it's so easy to kind of say, you know, make sure you deliver the packages, get the job done, blah, blah, blah. But it's a lot of um, issues that's been going on. And I don't know if everybody's been going through the same thing I've been going through, but we're going to try to talk about it now. Okay, so basically, um, I don't think it's worth it. One is because one, um, I feel like Amazon always trying to find an issue to kind of like talk to you about. When I mean as in with that, okay, so like for one, when doing Amazon Flex, you have the option to one, if the um, person wants you to drop off the package in a certain way, they'll leave it in the, the notes. So say for instance, if, they, if you can't drop it off in a certain location, they'll leave it in the notes like, hey, can you put it either in the mailbox or put it in the safe, secure area, you know, stuff like that. Now, me personally, when doing Amazon Flex, I always follow the rules on whatever they tell us. So if I see that I can't put it in the mailbox or something like that, I'll put it in an area that's kind of like in the area because some people, and that's another thing with Amazon Flex, most, I feel like the company Amazon Flex doesn't understand that most people's houses is not like, everybody house isn't the same. So say for instance, it's so easy for them to write in the notes, oh, put the package at the mail mailbox, but they have a whole gate locked up and stuff like that and then once you get there it's like kind of like a shock so it's like man where should i put the stuff at now so um i feel like amazon flex is so like strict on stuff like that like my thing is uh, lately i've been getting emails you guys and they literally keep trying to tell me like i'm with violations and stuff like that like don't put the package in the mailbox um that's illegal and stuff like that and i'm just like i'm going off what the customer is telling me to do i don't just do this type of stuff and on top of that too um for the fact of the matter is a lot of places that i do deliver so sometimes it's a hit or miss i'll either deliver sometimes julington creek st augustine it all depends but most people they usually have private roads or something like that and if i can't really get to their front door or something like that i'll just put it in a certain area and the reason why i'm saying that is because everyone doesn't necessarily have a house some people have trailer homes some people have apartments um some people just have like a little shack type area something like that it all just depends but for the most part i try to be as safe as possible for the delivery package um so that's really starting to turn me off with amazon flex like honestly yeah it's easy money on the side and everything like that but honestly y'all i'm really starting to get turned off with this job um i do like to give you guys the full amount as far as for how is it really like because most people really want to know like is amazon flex really worth it like do they feel like they're wasting their time and i was able to watch other like youtube videos to see other people experience to see if they were having like the same thing that i was going through but honestly you have to just be very careful when doing them with um amazon flex because honestly they want things done a certain way meaning as in they want th things done their way but however it's one you have to think about the safety when it comes to us two you also have to think about the environment that we're in um because like i said everybody house is not the same most people houses you'll pull up to they're literally like it's crazy it's it's not everybody's not clean everybody's not organized you know most people houses i pull up to they're kind of messy and stuff like that it all just depends but i try to go off of the note as much as possible um another thing i can say is uh with the offers so another reason why i'm starting not to like it is because one like i noticed the you get more money when you go to certain locations so here in jacksonville they have two locations they have one that's over here um that's kind of like on Blandon Boulevard. Then they have another one that's on Commonwealth. If you stay in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. So basically they have one on the west side and they have one on the um, north side. But I definitely feel like it's not fair that the fact that the north side offers more money sometimes than the west side. Like that kind of bothers me. But in the meantime, I'm just hoping that you guys kind of like take initiative as far as for this video. Um, if you guys do work for Amazon Flex, let me know as far as for are you starting to like it? Do you start to notice the things that I'm noticing? Um, just kind of comment down below and let me know. Um, I just feel like it's a good side gig and stuff like that, but they're very strict on their rules with a lot of stuff. And it's like, 
oh my gosh like am i making a mistake what exactly is going on um another thing too due to that like with many of the emails of them telling me that i didn't deliver it the right way or something like that my performance thing dropped like at first i was at like um i think it was uh, i was at like great or outstanding or un understanding one of the things well, i think it was great or outstanding now i'm at like fair i'm like and the next one after fair is at risk i'm just like oh my gosh like and they'll give you like good things or what you're doing you also get points on the um performance test so technically it's like your performance test on how you've been doing with delivering the packages but i just like i said amazon flex has its pros and cons you guys for the most part try to do the best way that you can do when it comes to amazon flex um also too they'll make videos i noticed most people be wanting to know will you get in trouble if you don't finish the packages in reality they're going to try to say oh no if you can't finish the packages just bring it back to the office you'll be completely fine but in reality it's almost like no you can't possibly get in trouble if you don't finish the packages like at the end of the day that reflects your performance task and that's going to be just something else added on it to like what you didn't complete so you know you want to try to use your time wisely when it comes to amazon flex um make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys think um like i said this channel is for me to talk about amazon flex and pretty much anything that i want to flex with at first i was going to focus it on mostly amazon flex but honestly anything i feel like i feel like i want to tell you guys i will definitely upload if you guys could check out my video um we were able to go horseback riding recently so if you guys could check out that video and let me know what you guys think um in the meantime don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure y'all flex with desi